Before I start the video, I wanted to apologize for how much I paused in this video. I didn't even notice how long I had made it last until I was pretty much four trailers from the end. Uh, There's just a lot to see and a lot to talk about. I just, I couldn't help myself and I'm sorry if that annoys some people, but I hope you enjoy the video anyways. In the last video, I finished reacting to all of the version trailers for Genshin Impact. So far, I've loved everything I've seen from Genshin Impact, and I doubt anything I see from here on out could lessen my excitement to finally play the game. Before I finally dive into the game, there are still a few more videos I plan on making. In this video, I'm going to be checking out all of the Genshin Impact character teasers from earliest release until the most recent. Let's do this thing. Alright, we're starting off with Fischl Can't Lose Just Yet. I am looking forward to this one. Because Fischl had one of the most entertaining and interesting personalities I had seen from the character demos. She had like the uh, Chunibyo uh, personality going for her. She had the whole Ajo uh, Sama oh ho ho laugh. The, uh, she had an eye patch. She, she had really uh, dweeby poses and I loved every second of it. So let's just get right into this and watch her teaser. Then Chinese again. Even now, she's posing in just a sort of cocky way, and it's so it's so cute. <laughs> it's so endearing. Oh, she's fighting that dragon. <laughs> Wait. I just realized she's she's talking like a total chuny right now. Alright. <laughs> She has a sealed eye. <laughs> when her left eye unseals, that's when her true power comes. <laughs> that's why she has the eye patch to seal her uncontrollable power. <laughs> and apparently, she's a millennium years old. Nice angle. Hold up, is she of age, guys? I don't wanna... <laughs> I don't want the cops caught on me, so... I won't say anything about her outfit until I know that she's of age. <laughs> so she's just telling a story. <laughs> and this chick's like, wow! <laughs> <laughs> is her name Amy? <laughs> she calls herself. What is she? Okay, she calls herself Princess Princessin der Verertelung, and her name is Fischl. Where did the name Fischl come from? I'm curious if her actual name is Amy. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I think, I think, okay. She might just have my favorite personality. I know a lot of people don't like the Chudy personalities, but I love her. <laughs> I love her. She's great. I'd want to be her friend in real life. I'd go adventuring with her and listen to all her stories, whether they're made up or not. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm talking. Alright, moving right on to the next one. Character Tales Fleeing Sunlight in the Night. Hey, Traveler. I'll let you in. We went from probably the character with my favorite personality to the next favorite. <laughs> Based off of personality, just because Klee's a complete menace. 
And from the comments, I've heard that her mom is even worse. So I'm hoping uh, by the time I start playing, we eventually get to meet her. Because an adult Klee would be uh, a must-pull. <laughs> on a little secret. Did you know there are monsters that come out at night in Mondstadt? Shh, be quiet. I'll tell you everything, but you can't tell nobody. After everyone is tucked up cozy <laughs> in their beds for the night, music. monsters pretending to be the Knights of Valonius come out to trick people. I can even hear their footsteps from inside the confinement room. And so... Blasted the door open to defend Mondstadt from the monsters. But the master team who grabbed me and dragged me away was really scary. Scary like the real master team, not like... <laughs> what are they doing in the background? <laughs> oh, man. This monster so strange. Anywho, you mustn't tell a soul. Kaya's the one who told me the secret oh, about... She's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> this might be the cutest image i've seen of Klee yet and she even drew out her little story oh man i want to see her and fischl together they would be quite the the storytellers Ooh, and in the background Monsters. i see some he some mommies nobody else but me. and i learned that's not her mom that's uh i don't think i caught the name but her that's lisa and she is She's beautiful, and I like them both quite a bit. She, she's she got the beautiful blonde knight look going on, like uh, Artoria from Fate. And she, uh, I guess the witch, yeah, she looks like a witch. Not like a evil witch, but a pretty mommy witch. Oh, Kaya. Coaxing Klee into escaping from solitary confinement, it seems. <laughs> Perhaps we've made the child's studies a little too imaginative lately. That was cute. I like Klee a lot. Alright, so at the end of each video, I have to, like... I couldn't find a playlist that put them in order from earliest to newest. Genshin's goes from newest to oldest, so I have to, like... Do this each time to go to the next one. Sir, Not a huge deal. Alright. Next we've got Child Sigil of Permission. So this one's about child. It is such a routine matter. Relax. I have other matters to attend to as well. <laughs> Excellent. Even if one day we can't continue business here, we can make it far away with this. But Master, what about the debt? Oh yes, I'm here to collect that. <gasps> Who's there? <laughs> Is Child the topaz of the game? Is he the IRS? <laughs> he just got knocked down a few notches if that's the case. Uh, this looks cool though. There's a... One of the Cool looking NPCs behind him. Quick, guards! Protect the master! No matter what it is you owe, you can't run from your debt. Damn, yeah, him and Topaz would get not along. the law of the god of contracts in Liyue? Fatui! You can't just barge into a private residence! Guards! Show him how we treat unwelcome guests at Yan Shang Tea House! <laughs> not much for adversaries. Well, I could always use a bit of exercise. I really like how he has like dual blades. They look like water blades as well, or ice. He's got one of the cooler male designs for sure. I like him. I like Zongli. Um, quite a few more. I'm just forgetting their names. I'll remember them when I see them. And had a sigil of permission in their possession. It's been years since anyone has seen one of these. Your job is debt collection, yet you failed to check what treasures he possessed that you might collect. Apologies, a dereliction of my duty. Enough. Let's go. Yes, sir. 
That was cool. Not sure, like, I don't know the characters, so I don't really know what's going on, but... Yeah, I just like seeing more about the characters. Um, yeah, not much else to say about that trailer. I like Child's design. Um, he's a debt collector, good to know. He'll, uh... I guess I should get him on my team, so he won't collect my debt, but that's fine. Next up, we've got... It's the daddy. It's the this my is favorite me, male in the game. Long Li, an additional expense. No one of importance. This gentleman beside me is our most knowledgeable consultant, Mr. Zhang Li. This Nocta Lucas. I have a really bad nose itch. Uh, I bet that's very fun to watch. Jade is small, but a beautiful shade of translucent blue. That voice. It would be a shame not to buy it. Yes, sir. He's such Pasting a handsome Pasting a windwheel man. aster to wet glaze before it is fired in the kiln? Fascinating. The flower turns to ash, but its shape is forever retained. Such genius. It would be a pity to not purchase this. Yes, sir. Core lapis is itself hard to gather. That's pretty. It must have taken true skill indeed to unearth two pieces so alike. We should buy them. Yes, sir. The music's so common. I don't know the... I don't know the pricing for this, but that's a lot of money. 100... If this is US dollars, is our daddy rich? Can he be our sugar daddy? So he just buys whatever he thinks looks nice. I can appreciate that. Wind wheel Aster as a gift for the fairy lady. Yes. That's sweet. He even got me a gift. Aww. Mr. Shangli truly is an amazing person. When Shangling is cooking, it would be far more appealing to go to Wanmin restaurant as opposed to Sinue Kiosk or Lioli Pavilion. I'm fine with anything so long as it's good. But do they only have chopsticks? You we'll need to be adept together? with chopsticks if you are to truly appreciate Lioli's gastronomy. I am terrible with chopsticks. I can... I sort of cheat when I use them. I definitely don't use them correctly, though. <laughs> I'll have to learn someday. Mr. Zhongli, we have Springvale <laughs> boar on the menu today. I Would you like her. to try it instead of the salt and pepper tofu? We'll have both. She's the one with the when fire bear. In customs, we gave Xiang Ling a tip for her amazing new dish. Let's see. 888 Mora. So yeah, if that's dollars right there, that's a that's a pretty big tip. <laughs> I work as a uh, I work at an Outback, so I would appreciate a tip like that. All right. So yeah. Mr. Zhongli values friendly ties over Mora and is generous in word and deed. Well, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor often foots the cost of his generosity. But thankfully, the Northland Bank is bearing this particular bill. Welcome, come in. Excluding this pair of hairpins, everything else is for sale. They're not for sale? Why not? These are heirlooms pawned by a poor fellow to scrounge together money for his wife's medication. I must hang on to them for him until the redemption period expires. Oh. I paid off the shopkeeper and took this pair of hairpins, seeking to return them to their owner with some living expenses on the side. Please help me to conceal these expenses in our accounts, would you? I will be sure to buy you lunch. <laughs> Honestly, once you become entangled with Mr. Zhongli, there's no getting away from him at all. What I got from that is that he's wealthy <laughs> and he's a he's a major spender. Yeah, he's a cool character. Didn't really get to understand much about him, but besides that he's a spender, that's probably why Child's friends with him. <laughs> he knows that he could be a major client and get a, collect some major debt off of him someday, probably. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Character teaser, Albeda, still life and creation. Alchemy is a mysterious art that revolves around all living things. 
and the study of life in particular requires painting. She's really cute. She looks like a some sort of animal girl. Those look like ears there, I believe. Can't tell if she has a tail. Yeah, she's really cute. She's a, one of the glasses wears in the game. I think someone may have mentioned her name in the comments, but I don't remember. I also like Albedo's design. And I like that he's an alchemist as well. And a painter. He's a man of many talents, eh? Yes, you certainly make wonderful paintings of anything that piques your interest, Mr. Albedo. Arise, lifeless dust of the universe and that within. Thou art reborn. Do you understand now, Sucrose? <sighs> Simply amazing, Mr. Albedo. Next, I will- It's honestly really cool that- I guess, I don't know if it's an actual ability of his in-game, but maybe it's his lore that he can make his paintings come to life. That's actually- Honestly, lore rise, that could be incredibly OP. Like, he could paint some really strong stuff, like a- Like an OP mob. <laughs> That'd be cool. We'll paint the common visha. I find the carapace to be its most enjoyable feature, the intricate patterns, and even its sheen. But the rest of the visha is quite ordinary, and requires but a few quick brushstrokes. Voila! Arise, oh, lifeless wait, dust. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Albedo, but I fear creating such creatures may sit outside the sphere of acceptability within our roles as alchemists. Oh, is that so? Just like always, overly passionate about what piques your interest, yet com I love his little clueless face. That's really- <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> He's like, huh, I didn't know. Completely indifferent towards anything otherwise. Your swing and interest this time didn't even leave you long enough to finish your painting. It's sort of cute. God, this poor thing, and the music, it's just, he created, the, he didn't finish it, but he brought it to life, how's it walking, <laughs> its feet are drawn, but its legs aren't, is the, the outlines enough to keep it together, I guess, <laughs> oh my gosh, this poor, poor thing. Alright, that was cute. Yeah, I liked that one. That one's my, I think my second favorite of these so far behind Fischl's. Um, yeah, it sort of just covered, yeah, his character pretty well. He's a alchemist, a painter. He can make things, like inanimate things come to life. And he's a bit oblivious, it seems like. Alright. Ganyu. A night in Liyue Harbor. The night scenes of Liyue. The lantern light this of the so pretty. Only I know. And this music this is so pretty. And she's so has pretty. Come far in the millennium past. Only I remember the hours at which... Jesus she's grown on me. At first, I think I even mentioned that I liked her, but... Not as much as a lot of the other characters, but she's definitely been growing on me. The more I see her, the more I'm like, wow, she's actually beautiful. So, still don't understand the, the bell around her neck. <laughs> on the glazed lilies and disappears again. 106,327 heartbeats. The Jeez. time that has passed since I last... How many... How long is that? <laughs> so, I'm telling you in the comments, how long is 1,000... Six three hundred twenty one hundred six thousand three hundred twenty seven heartbeats in minutes or hours. I want to know. Six thousand three hundred twenty seven heartbeats. The time that has passed since I last knew rest. Packing up the stalls, closing up the pavilions. This is gorgeous. One can almost hear the street lights going out. It is as it is night after night, ever so distant from me. The night of Leah. Wow. Over.
this would be a good wallpaper. Maybe like a phone one. Or like a thumbnail for this YouTube video. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now that you know the Oh, that's even better. Wow. This is gorgeous. Yeah, she's she's growing on me even more in this trailer. She is yeah, she's a pretty lady. Would you accompany me to work overtime? <laughs> no. <laughs> Even with that smile on your face, no. I worked overtime yesterday. The the <laughs> the person that was supposed to close at my job didn't show up because he was sick, so I had to close. No. <laughs> you <laughs> you're ruining the, the points you just gained. <laughs> That was, that no was way. Cute. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how I feel. So, okay. So what exactly was she doing? She was, yeah, she was cleaning up the festival, I guess. Like, that's what she was saying. Yeah, I liked that one quite a bit. That was just a pretty trailer and a bit of comedic relief at the end. Next up, we've got Hu Tao. I really liked Hu Tao. Scared yet? I know she's really popular as well. I think all Genshin women and men are. <laughs> Maybe not all of them, but most of them. <laughs> Give you a fright? <laughs> I'm such a. I jump so easily. I don't know if you guys saw, but it made me flinch just a slight bit when that ghost popped up on the screen. <laughs> I would I would definitely jump at the think fast uh, little game. Love the uh, flowers in her eyes. To Wuhan Hill in the middle of the night. This place isn't as safe as you believe. Come with me. I'm Hu Tao Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. This is cute. They're both in the same pose. I heard she's a director. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's literally saying it right here. She's the director of a funeral parlor. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. If these were what real ghosts look like, I would want one as a pet. I had to just keep them around. I don't blame her. Like, <laughs> I would be a funeral parlor director if the ghosts were this cute. Even has like the cute little tooth. <laughs> That's adorable. Director, let oh. me help you cross over. <laughs> That's a, a little spooky look you're giving. Yeah. Help you cross over the hill, not cross into the afterlife. Huh? And why are the butterflies our guides? Well, because they want to be sealies when they grow up. <laughs> Though that walking encyclopedia Zhongli would no doubt have a completely different explanation. Wow. Mm, this artwork's fantastic. Hold up. Yeah. This here is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Even if I'm not learning much about the characters, besides what I know from these trailers, this artwork in them is worth it to just watch for it. Wow. No doubt have a completely different explanation. I love Hoyo art. You should be safe from here. Next time, don't go running around in dangerous places. Of course, if you really insist on adventuring, then be my guest. Adventurers are our VIP clients after all. We even have coupons for you. <laughs> coupons at a funeral parlor for adventurers? Because they're, they're always dying. <laughs> That's funny. They're VIP customers at a funeral parlor. <laughs> You're a little mischievous, ain't you? Oh, do you have a travel buddy? We're having a sale. Second client, half price. Oh my gosh. She's a fun character. I'm looking forward to meeting all these characters in game to get to know them better. Because I've just had design to go off of and what little personality I've seen from their trailers and in game. Like I know Fischl is a total drama queen and a bit of Chuni in there. Klee is a menace. Zhang Li seemed calm for the most part. Child, a little brash and confident. Um, so yeah, I've learned about their personalities, but I can't wait to get to know them a lot better. 
Venti, the four wins. One millennium ago, when the aristocracy fell at last from grace, the defender of the South banished tyranny from the city gates, while the West spread her wings and took her rightful place. The wanderer in the North settled with the woven race. As the four winds blew, to all corners they flew, but much was to be done to build Mondstadt anew. It's a little poem. This is pretty the music. The god called on them, each one in turn. First their leader, the west wind, though he found himself spurned. The Lion Fang Knight was less than impressed. I've no time to join you in sing, dance, and jest, for you see to these three while I handle the rest. Next did he track down that Ooh, leader of wolves. That's a pretty wolf. Asked him to tame his most unbridled of souls. The wolf leader growled he would not be contained. Do not lecture me, bard, you who are the least restrained. So the animal god implored the friend he'd known first to blow the ice from the face of the earth that verdance and freedom could once more be birthed. But the dragon had known his bard god friend too long. He would not share the work, but dictate it through song. Do some real work, Barbados. Who's that deep voice belong to? That was cool. It seems like it was telling the story of... Uh, what's going on? He was telling a story about... Well, the wolf and dragon. I think, like... Yeah, about Mondstadt. Yeah, that was nice. I liked the poem. He's got some bars. Alright. Eula, the, the dancer lady. I liked her. Midnight encounter. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, and we got some funky for the music table with going. Me. To think all the other patrons are actually avoiding me. Huh. I'll remember this. Who's lucky enough to go on a date with her? Seriously. They cared that much about my lineage? Even if I were out for vengeance, they'd have to wait their turn. The Gunhilder clan, the Roggenvinder clan, and the Lawrence clan are the three most prominent families in Mondstadt's history. Among them, the Lawrence clan became blinded by their desires, plunging Mondstadt into a dark era under the aristocracy's oppression. In time, Lady Vanessa overthrew the aristocracy and established the Knights of Favonius, while the Lawrence clan quickly fell into obscurity. Over the next thousand years, their flame of vengeance continued to flicker and burn, but never again did it ignite into a blaze. Perhaps the finishing blow to the Lawrence... This is so pretty. Like, all their art styles are amazing. She's like, in waves. Wow. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning imagery. This clan was. She who is known as the Spindrift Knight. Most gifted descendant of the Lawrence clan, Eula, joining the Knights of Favonius. Oh yeah, this is her, uh... This is her demo music as well. The nice little guitar going. Although the word Some vengeance more beautiful is always art. upon her lips, she has proved time and again that she is a kind-hearted and honorable ally. Hey, when a noble woman is speaking. Yeah. <laughs> they know what they're doing. These are... You are to Everyone's eyes went there. You guys all know it too. Hey, when a noble woman is speaking, you are to lower your drink and look her directly in the <laughs> eyes. Even, it's even calling us out. <laughs> Everyone's eyes that were there, you just got called out. Come on, learn to look people in the eyes. You really ought to learn some proper etiquette. Her eyes are beautiful, too. <laughs> that was a cute sneeze. I bet it's that Gunhilder girl talking about me behind my back again. <laughs> Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine.
That was a nice trailer. Got to learn a little more about her backstory. So she comes from a uh, aristocratic family, a sort of evil one, but she doesn't follow their views, and she sort of went her own way. That's good. That's really good of her. Not many people are able to ignore the will of their family and do what they believe is right. So that's a good, good character right there. And next up, we've got the sun. Kaidehara Kazuha. Yeah, the, the cool samurai. The sound Look of how pretty the water the is. And the rustle of leaves in a bamboo forest. They are not so dissimilar. <laughs> Kazuha, I hope you don't think I risked taking you in just to listen to your musings. I'm aware. Oh, wow. I can't even see her face, but <laughs> I see thighs. That's good enough. She, she's looking pretty. Oh, there she is. She's really pretty. She was in his demo. I don't remember catching a name. But yeah, she's got that uh, sort of Chinese pirate feel going for her. I believe that's what she is, honestly. They're on a boat. He is more pale than I realized. He looks almost like a vampire here. Red, blood red eyes, really pale skin. Band-aids on his arm. Like his little one red hair or streak in his hair as well. I don't know how he fights in sandals with socks on. <laughs> socks and sandals combo has always been incredibly uncomfortable for me. Not before a big battle. I like his outfit. Though some sake would make this better still. <laughs> A big battle, you say? Yes. The scent on the wind is the same as on that night. The scent of danger. Ooh, look at this. It like came red. It's like a blood moon, blood red trees. I like how that's a good uh, motif they did. The scent of danger, and then it went straight into a dangerous looking scenery. That's cool. Don't move! Just a breath away until I reach the port. Seems I couldn't evade you after all. Vision hunt decree. Hand over your vision. Oh yeah, I learned that. <laughs> I okay. So people told me what visions are. I'm already forgetting. I think it's like, it's like their power. I guess like, what gives them their elemental powers. I believe. Um, and I was also told archons are gods. So like, uh, Farina's a god, uh, Shogun's a god, uh, I can't remember who else, but yeah, this is cool. If only you could make one exception, things could have been easier for you. <laughs> a maple leaf? Oh. Turn them to dust. I say we lower the sails, Beto. The storm is coming. I like him a lot. He's solemn and a badass fighter. I can appreciate that. All right. And yeah, he's joined her on her little ship. Other than that, I didn't really know what was going on <laughs> i'm more lost in these trailers than usual guys i'll be completely honest i'm just happy to see more about the characters personalities a little bit and the artwork is stunning next up kamisato ayaka i can't read the title but i remember liking the her the yashiro commission duty is to assist shrine maidens with sacred matters she's really pretty and to manage distinguished artists of all kinds because of my upbringing ever since i was oh, a child oh wow look at that look at that transition 
And I love the because fan. Of my upbringing. Like, Ever since wow. I was a child, I've been studying etiquette. This is so pretty. Painting and calligraphy. Now she's a real Ojo-sama. Officials should learn from her. <laughs> This is how you act as an elegant young noble lady. <laughs> Not like Fischl does. Tea ceremony. And the art of the sword. Wow. Stunning. I've said that a lot, but it really it's is. It's the Hirosaki <sighs> Whatever that means. Meeting a foreign envoy, Miss Kamisato? Always working hard, I see. Oh. You as well. She's so liked by the people. Oh no. Oh no. Don't become sparkle. We don't need a we don't need a sparkle in Genshin. I say that, but I love sparkle. I haven't seen the story quest for her yet from Starreal, but her trailer best trailer I've seen from Hoyo. Genshin and Honkai Starreal combined. I loved her trailer so much. And I, I rolled for her, won her 50-50, so I can, I can enjoy her. These are for the coming festival. Preparations are already in full swing. I see. <sighs> it's good to be home. I can finally put all my etiquette aside for a moment. Oh, a pair of masks. When did you purchase these? Yen is so common. But... As eldest daughter of the clan... Huh? The festivals? Well, I... Oh, of course I've been to a festival. She's blushing there. That was so cute. Alright. If we go, then we mustn't let our identities be known to anyone, okay? Who's she talking to? I'm guessing the MC. I didn't realize. That was really pretty. Yeah, she just seems like an elegant young miss who is enjoy or who the people like. Really sweet character. Oops. All right. Next up, we got Yoimiya, the Queen of Summer. She's the the fun, perky character. Fireworks well, girl. About summer on Narukami Island? Huh. What makes you ask that? Another gorgeous oh. <laughs> artwork. Toma put you up to this. Oh, it's Toma. I thought it was Toma. Toma. That's a tough one. Why don't you see what everyone else thinks? The best thing about summer on Narukami? Oh, good question. Let me think. I think we all know this one. Oh my gosh. Stop! There's so many beautiful scenery, scenic artworks. This is just gorgeous. I love, this is like everything I love. Night sky on a beach with a pretty anime girl. <laughs> Perfect. So, did you find the answer yet? It isn't a thing at all. <laughs> Right, Summer just wouldn't be the same without her. Oh, they're talking about her. <laughs> Who else could it be? That's so sweet. <laughs> That's right. The best thing about Summer on Narukami Island. <laughs> That's cute. She's. Oh, come on, Paimon. <laughs> You're that stupid. <laughs> oh, that was a cute one. So she's the she's the life of summer and everyone agrees. That's adorable. Ooh. We've got a the first mommy in a while. Alright, Raiden Shogun. Nightmare. Ooh. There's some characters I haven't seen before. That's like a... Yeah, they're all very ancient japan inspired that's pretty Is she like a insect or there's horns this look like antenna antennae more than horns got a little fox girl or wolf is this the, the high cloud quartet 
And Raiden Shogun looking elegant. She has a smile on her face. Looking up at the sky. Enjoying a picnic. This is pretty. But the music is sort of eerie. Oh. Hold up. Nothingness, and then one of them disappeared. Ooh. Ooh, this is... this is... pressing. And it, like, turned gray. This is really dark. Is that her mom? <laughs> Sister? So she became the way she is after losing everyone she cares about. That's what I'm getting. More bitter and intense. Ooh. Wow, where is this? It's like some domain. It looks like a moon in the background with dark blood red energy coming out of it. This is a cool looking place and I don't know what these are called but I believe they're at like Shinto shrines and stuff are these just literally archways I don't know but that was a cool trailer I think I missed some things like when it was going through here there's it was going through pretty fast <laughs> nothingness yeah is she fighting them like yeah yeah, that's her right there. They're fighting each other. So did she kill her friends for some reason? Or did like, is it like becoming Mara struck? Like, that's what I'm getting. Did her, like she had to put down her friends because they became diseased with something and she had to put them down. Uh, you guys don't have to tell me since it's probably heavily story related, but that's just... That's my theory. Because this seems very High Cloud Quintet-esque. Of course, this came first, so I'm not saying they copied from Star Rail, but that's just the feel I'm getting. Very similar. <laughs> and then... I don't see... <laughs> that's a, I can't tell what that is behind her, but it's cute. Crane. Or I think that's a crane. A raven, oh. That's like her, uh, her general. The one with the raven wings. The fox. Eternity. Yeah. That was, I think, just in that small sequence dropped probably a lot of backstory for her that I have no clue about. I have a feeling my guess is sort of close since it really did look like she was fighting one of her friends at least for some reason or another that was a cool trailer i think the most interesting one yet has me very curious about what she went through all right next up we've got kokumi so pretty sung to me a kokumi hey have you heard she's the new divine priestess yeah, divine Whoa, priestess. But she's so young. Do you think she can really handle it? Wait, how young? Is she of age? Cause I I <laughs> I love her design. <laughs> I don't think she's sexy in any way, but she's beautiful. Hmm. Hope she's of age. Remember Kokumi. As the divine priestess, the whole of Watatsumi she is so pretty. entrusted to you not be suited for such a role from today onward you must strive to meet the hopes of the people 
You're right. Governing is not my forte. My true skills lie in... The art of war, focused on the single purpose of victory. She's a tactician. Our aim is to hit the enemy hard while minimizing casualties. Wolf boy. In this battle, Gobi's and Gogesia platoons will be decoys. If successful, we will besiege them. Otherwise, Swordfish platoon will flank the enemy and burn Swordfish platoon. <laughs> Are all the platoons named after fish? <laughs> swordfish is the attacking platoon since it's a swordfish. Find that, find that silly, but a smart naming sense at the same time, since they're like, well, she's a mermaid person, from what I understand. The two will flank the enemy and burn their provisions. Dang. She's got the mind of a war oh, maiden. Watatsumi Island? No, I'm far from it. Modest. War is chaos. And yet I see the method to the madness. The people are unfathomable. How can I know what their hearts desire? Oh my gosh. Look at that smile. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I love these characters. I absolutely love Genshin characters. I've missed out for the four years that it's been out, that's for sure. Well, please visit Sangonomiya Shrine sometime. I wish to talk. Oh, that was that was nice. So what I got from it, yeah, learned a bit more about her. She's a tactician, leads an army, and she's supposed to be pretty much governing an entire island, I guess. Um, yeah, that was that was nice. I just like her, <laughs> Ito. <laughs> The uh oh man, he's a he's also a memorable character based off of personality alone. He seemed like a total chat at first, but then he became sort of comedic, comedic near the end of his trailer. I liked him a lot. That's what I'm saying. Like some people have said, like I only liked the woman characters, but so far in this trailer, I've all the men that are all the men trailers for the teaser so far have been all dudes I like. So it's not like I just like the female characters. I deem the only dangerous and dispatched its samurai to subdue them. Yeah, they're a little they're doing a little stage play. After a fierce battle, the samurai defeated the violent Oni and uh Wait, is this the right script? <laughs> Yeah, no. The sa Samurai defeated the violent Oni, and uh oh my god, yeah, the script is wrong. The Oni's beating up the samurai. She's <laughs> uh, the one and the right Oni. Uh, I like his Oni mask too. Uh, anyway, in the end, humans and Oni overcame their differences. Uh, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> oh, what a circus. <laughs> now that's what I call a good show. <laughs> yeah, boss! <laughs> the Orataki Gang rules! <laughs> He's such a... He's so corny. <laughs> He's also a My dork. Lord, look backstage. <laughs> yes. I love dorky dudes. Pity that the Tenryu Commission has arrived. Uh-oh. He's he's great. Third okay. I think I just like comedic characters, to be honest, because so far personality wise. Special Klee Ito have been some of my favorites. Like, I just love the characters that will make me laugh. And he, he, okay, yeah, he would make me laugh a lot in game, I'm sure. Yeah, Shen He, I'm pretty sure, not Shen He. All right, Lonesome Dreams. <laughs> Is this her as a little baby? 
Another nightmare. Guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, I think I think I saw some good physics going on there. <laughs> I can't tell if her boobs are just bobbing ups and down, or if like it was just her little drape there blowing in the wind or something. I, I think her boobs were jiggling quite a bit One there. One has told you before, be not complacent. <laughs> the ropes are to be worn even while you sleep. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. that's the, uh, uh, Jing, Jian, Jing Yun, or Jian Yun, the really pretty secretary lady. I'm pretty sure people said this was her in her crane form. Yeah. Wow. This is pretty, again. She's got the long legs. Rest, child. No need to train today. <laughs> Just enjoying her reflection. More beautiful piano. Get all sad. You are a cursed child and shall never have contact with anyone else. Boy, that's uncalled for. Traveler, we offered so many tasty dishes. We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's mm. attention, right? Well, we if she still doesn't want to meet us, then, um, maybe we can take all the food back. Okay, we caught her eye there. She uh, she seemed interested in the traveler. That was cute. So she has a somewhat dark backstory. It seems like called a cursed child. I think this was her crying at the beginning. Um, we learned that she has amazing jiggle physics. If that was what I saw, another um, nightmare. Yeah, I, I'm almost certain that's what I saw. <laughs> That is so unnecessary, but very welcome. All right, next up. Yay, Miko! Kitsune's affection, I think that's what it says. Oh, why do I feel like the standard of writing is going down by the day? Kitsune means fox in Japanese or fox spirit or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are my editors even doing their jobs? <laughs> huh? Ooh, this one's interesting. I won't be bored out- I feel like she would be a boss that makes a lot of her underlings cry. Like, <laughs> are my editors even doing their jobs? <laughs> of my mind tonight after all. Light novels and sake. Sounds like a good combo. Yes, I've read light novels. What do you think, Lady Guji? Eric has got some cooking skills, huh? Mmm, the fried tofu is cooked to perfection. Tender and juicy. Actually sounds pretty the tasty. Kushikatsu I are like freshly tofu. made, and the taste is quite to my liking. I'll take a few boxes worth to go, please. Ooh, that looks so good. Animated food always looks incredible, even though in real life it doesn't look as good. <laughs> Fried tofu and kushikatsu. I don't know what that is. Lady Gucci is this world's best editor, if you ask me. She's a oh crafty fox who's always playing mind games. Truth Wait. Be told. If you ask Look me. at them! Like, She's a crafty fox who's look how animated they are! Truth be told, <laughs> Yaimiko is an upstanding shrine maiden. Hey, she that fox lady I ate ramen with that time! <sighs> She's a scary lady who forces me to go to work. Is that Sayu? <laughs> I think that was Sayu. <laughs> a few hundred years on, and the little girl that always wanted shoulder rides pretty. is all grown up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a Japanese shrine. The human realm. 
That's cute. Got a little food teaser going on. She walked through town as people gushed over how great she is. I agree, she is great. She looked really cute here. The fried Enjoying her food. To perfection. Yeah. Yeah, I like these trailers quite a bit. And yeah, next, Kamisato, the brother of Ayaka. Lantern, something. The Kamisato clan is just one of countless families in Inazuma. Hence, there is nothing exceptional about my work. I do what must be done to ensure peace and stability for my family. At home, I am the clan head, or brother. In public, I am commissioner. But ultimately, I am just a normal person. I would never want to be a head of the family. I don't That's too much home work. For days at a time. Once the present problems are resolved, there are still future dangers to prevent. This may he sound... is such a pretty man. Really pretty man. I love his... Not quite violet. Lavender eyes. I think that's a lavender color. Goes really well with his blue uh, aesthetic. He's got a nice gold tassel around his neck. The beauty mark below his lips. He is a beautiful man that I actually appreciate. Most beautiful men I don't appreciate, but this guy I do. He he's a chill, chill looking guy. Vainglorious, but I do what I do so that everyone has a home to go back to. Uh, most inconvenient. Time to find shelter. Huh? Hello, my lord. Is that a little Sheba on his head? That's so cute. Aw. This is cute. Really, really cute. He came back to see his family and their their janitor. <laughs> the uh the Emia. The Emia of the game. Oh man. I love these lord? characters so far. I really do. What a surprise to run into you here, Ayato. <laughs> Call him bro. One second, I'll go start some tea. Tell Romaru, come on, boy. Tell Call him Onichan. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> go. Hey, come on. You need to let me stand up. My goodness, you're in high spirits. Thought you'd have a party without me. No, actually, we came here to make some plans for your birthday. <laughs> My lady. Oh, <laughs> she's not good at secrets, is she? So that's it. <sighs> a chance to work and to live life. For the sake of these, people will draw their blade. Ooh, I like that line. He's saying, like, if you touch my, uh, like, his Achilles heel, which is his family, he will show that he can, he can use violence if necessary. I really like that. That's cute. He seems like a good brother and a good... Just a good person all around who protects his family and his clan and just the people that he cares about. And I see a mommy on my screen, Yolan. Inevitable justice. Oh my. <laughs> she she is number one mommy in this game so far. Please, have mercy. Oops. It's freaking out. Uh, uh, uh. It's freaking out. Okay. Yeah, she is the number one mommy. She definitely awoke something in me in her demo. <laughs> the leg Please, crossing. Yes. We've told you everything we know. She's like the the big boss lady. Scram. It's not you I'm interested in. Ooh, Ooh she makes me catch my breath. What's on her arm though? Oh, that's a, oh, that's a falling leaf. I thought she had like a rash on her arm, but I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Emerald eyes, blue. I've gone over and every, every time I've seen her, what I like about her. So I don't need to do that anymore. Someone mentioned that I'm going to like the story about her coat when I see it. 
which I, I really wanted to ask what the hell you're talking about, but I'll learn. <laughs> I will learn when I get there. <laughs> By now, she'll be preoccupied with the treasure hoarder. What's up with these mummy characters? Like, why do they have bandages all around them? I know they're like the the Fatui sort of like NPCs. I'm pretty sure. There's a lot to untangle with that group. They should keep her off our trail for a good Ooh. week or two. She's got a little invis, like a no Sile. There's no way she can keep tabs on us too. We'll have ample time to withdraw before she gets back. Mm. That's some wishful thinking. Uh, who's there? Uh, uh, uh. Where am I? How did I? Uh, uh. Sorry. I know this isn't the farewell party Oof. you were hoping for. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know if I noticed that she had a little a little booba mark. She's like Himiko in that aspect then. Likey likey. I may have noticed, but I just forgot. And she's got the uh two different colored gloves, like the uh <laughs> what's that boss? The uh, doomsday beast at the beginning of Honkai Star Rail. It's got the white and black arms. Just a random comparison I wanted to make. Wait, gotta put that on loop this really quickly. The well party you were hoping for. Oh my god. You? I would want to be... I would want to have a farewell party from you any day. I don't care what you would do to me. I get to see this over and over again. <laughs> you? What are you doing here? My intelligence network doesn't oh my stop gosh. operating just because I leave the city. Where are your eyes, bro? It looks like they're... It looks like they're pointing, pointing down, maybe. No, not quite. Oh, man. She is a specimen. Whew. I love it when sexy women put their hands on their hip like that while leaning in. Yes. I know all about the little games you've been playing. I'm afraid the fact that I'm back means my patience has run out and your luck along with it <sighs> you got lucky for a night <laughs> and uh probably jail or dead whatever she decides to do <laughs> for the rest of his life so the question is was getting lucky worth it <laughs> getting to see all that jiggle physic and boob up in his face <laughs> Was it worth it for jail time? <laughs> Only he can answer. Hainari. I'll always know him as Shroom's guy. Cause that's the most memorable thing from his demo for me. <laughs> he was he was hallucinating off of the shrooms. I do like that he's an academic field researcher. I trust this letter finds Master. You well. Who's his master? Thank you for your kind offer of an academia post, but... Curious, is his master a playable character or someone I've met yet? Someone important? An actual... If it's a, like a serious story spoiler, then you don't need to tell me. But if it's not, then I'd like to know. I'm afraid I must decline. I have taken up residence in the Avidya Forest, where I work as a forest watcher. Ooh. Not an illustrious position. Can he heal? Like withering plants? Where I work as a forest watcher. That's nice. Not an illustrious position, but my proximity to the rainforest ecosystem allows me to <laughs> research it in great detail. <laughs> a little little hop noise. Boing, Search boing, it boing. in great detail. <laughs> that was cute. Something is ailing the forest. I'm sure of it. Ooh, yeah, the the and just as a Black doctor won't aura coming out of it, I will not abandon the forest. So he's like a doctor of a forest. That's nice. You promised me status and reputation, yet I do not care for these. Good man. Though if you are amenable, please consider sending some researchers to help investigate this strange phenomenon in the forest. Sincerely, 
your student, Tainari. I actually liked that one a lot. It just showed how much he cared about his profession, his his passion for caring about the forest. It's really that was really nice. I like I like him. No hallucinating this time. <laughs> or was that whole thing a hallucination? Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's the dork. This doesn't look like he's going to be geeking out in his teaser based off of the uh, thumbnail, but <laughs> I wish it was. Just everything is uh, the, the version trailer. I can't remember which one, but it's the one that showed him playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> that made me love him so much. That that turned him from like a B tier to like a top of A tier character for me. <laughs> oh man. Let's go. Let's see what this is all about. A just punishment. Then it's agreed. You ensure my personal safety and I will share the research materials with you. All this fuss just over some risky research. What are you so scared of? Listen, you don't understand. Ooh, the academia love makes no music. compromises. To ensure that knowledge is used correctly, they have dedicated officers to keep tabs on all the scholars. I think the Simru trailers and demos had some of my favorite music, the whole deserty vibe to them. It's really nice. They call them Arabic vibe, mantra. I guess. <laughs> and their leader, the General Maha Mantra, is Maha. the most fearsome among them. Once he has you in his sights, oh, is that him? he won't stop. Sino the Maha Mantra. Cut it out. You're giving me the creeps with your ghost stories. Found you. Uh -huh. Dang, he's got the shadows over his eyes. Oh no, that's him. Damn. He's got two modes: justice, enactment mode, and dork mode. <laughs> I think both are. I think the justice one's pretty cool, but I'd want to see him in dork mode most of the time. <laughs> that's the best mode for sure. Sacrificed. Damn, what did he do to get this treatment? Save your energy. It's a long walk back. Oof. I still can't get over that. Him and Jing, Jing, Jing Yuan have the same voice actor. They like, I can sort of hear similarities, but not much. It's crazy impressive. The voice actor did a great job. If you have any final words, Save them for Judgment Day. Damn. That's a, that's a cool line. Yeah. Sino definitely since his demo, which I liked, but wasn't top tier to me. He's gone up a lot. <laughs> in my, in my heart. Nilo, one of my favorite designs. Dancing Grace. To me? Zubair Theater is a home away from home. Yeah, she's so pretty. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. <sighs> How are the props? I did some fixes and touch-ups. Oh, they were great! Thank you so much, Miss Nadia. <sighs> it's over. Now I don't have to hear Mr. Zubair yelling at me every day. <laughs> Oh, he's just a worry ward is all. Don't lose heart. Everyone loved your performance. This flute is gorgeous, wow. Hey, get back here, Buster! <laughs> so cute, you get his little tongue hanging out. Can you pet dogs in the game? If there's dogs? I hope so. That should be that should be so easy to implement for the game creators, just have a button to press to pet the doggo. That easy. Swoof! Aww. Swoof! Here you are. <laughs> Who's a good doggy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Aw, come good. here. Good, she's a dog lover, too. <laughs> Have you been eating some extra treats? 
I can barely lift you anymore. Every day spent with the theater is a day full of bliss. It's your movement. No, You're still I, not no. getting it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying. Finally. We're done. <laughs> Someone passed out. Everyone's tireless efforts, this special place wouldn't exist. I always oh, wish wow. this show could last a little longer. Ooh. She's a singer, too. Unbelievably gorgeous. Wow. For coming to watch our performance. That was great. <laughs> yeah, just got to see more, more of what I already knew she was like. Just a calm, kind young woman, elegant, loves dogs. That's good. Gorgeous. That was a pretty trailer. Nahida, happy birthday. Ahida was really cute. The little elf girl. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. She looks so innocently cute. Oh yeah. I forgot she had sort of some some darkness to her story. Like a yeah, she was trapped in a cage. That's about all I know. In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me. I love this little story, oh, color we story book. Found you. The people can't wait to meet you. Wow. They come up with new ways every time to animate their videos, these t trailers. This one's great. It's literally just a, it's like a flip, flip story book, color book sort of thing. The Subzeris <laughs> Festival began. And everyone smiled as they gathered around me. But is this just a dream? Like, uh... <sighs> Finally? Yeah. Because she can only... Like, I remember her thing saying she could only see the world through her dreams. Or something like that. So I have a feeling this is just a dream. I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. It's repeating? In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me. Now we're the knight of flowers and they're all our retainers? <laughs> That's cute. Or is Paimon the knight of flower and we're her retainer? <laughs> That's probably more likely, right? This is so cute. Found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzeris Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. It's gonna repeat again. Ooh, just when went dark. I, woke up, I was riding in the flower carriage. This just got really dark sounding. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. Oh my gosh. In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't- Is this- is this like, really what happened? Everything else below was a dream, but this is like, more along the- what actually took place? Everything else is what she wished took place. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my Ooh. birthday. In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. 
The people can't wait to meet you. Dang, he's just dragging this her along. This festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Yeah, no one's like, <laughs> she's repeating everything she says, but it's all, this time it's all dark. Like, no one's actually really smiling. I guess, are they? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks more like solemnness and there's no reverence or happiness involved. Look how scared she looks. But I'm guessing this is what really happened. She was dragged into a very uncomfortable environment. And everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. <sighs> when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. It was... it was my birthday. Happy birthday, Nahida. Oh my god. Birthday. This storytelling was incredible. <laughs> this actually got me in tears a little bit. Oh, okay. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. Just wait for this. It was... It was my birthday. Now it's... Instead of saying I dreamed it was my birthday, now it's showing... It's her actual birthday. And she's just stuck here. That, <laughs> that's so sad, bro. Happy birthday, Nahida. Oh, no. <laughs> Not no, what I meant to do. I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up uh, my No, I wasn't ready. Go back. Oh. Oh. That ruined that ruined it for me. Fuck. Excuse my cussing. The way she said that was so sad. Like you could tell the sadness when she said that. No one else was there to wish her happy birthday, only her. Oh my gosh. Until the end there, I was feeling quite... I was feeling the, the depression there. That was the most well-designed trailer yet, and maybe out of any trailer I've seen, the most well-written one. It looped through, just being all happy, and then you get a taste of... The real thing and then you realize oh before that's just what she was that's what she wished had happened then you get into what actually happened and then after what actually happened you get into the present where she's been stuck for who knows how long ever since she was brought here wow that was incredibly written like when i say that like it repeated over and over again so there weren't many different lines, but the way they just repeated the lines and showed different, a different animation each time, it was like each loop through, that's what's impressive. And then at the end, chasing, changing it up very slightly to make it present. Instead of, I dreamed it was my birthday, it is now, it, was, it is my birthday. That was incredible. Ooh, uh, that was probably the best one yet, just uh, storytelling-wise. I think I understood a lot more what's going on with her. Like, she's obviously, she obviously has one of the worst backstories in the game so far. And I hope we save her in-game, for sure. Alright, next up, Wanderer Ashes. All right. Wander is a cool, cool character. Seems once more. I right have into lost my heart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's where he was attached to the galaxy juice. And he's in like the crazy looking mecha. So I am getting that he is somehow Wander is this guy. It's just after this fight, he becomes Wander or something. I don't know how that works, but <laughs> my skin feels like it's on fire. Burning me alive. Turning me to ash. This sounds dark as you well. Mean, you wish you had a heart? Hmm. Have you ever heard this story before? Is that being literal or metaphorical? Like, does he not have a heart? Or is that just a metaphor? Like, you know, when you say you don't have a heart because he's so cruel. A heart? If that's story related, don't tell me. I'll play the game and find out. I'm just asking because I want to ask. Hmm. Have you ever heard this story before? Is the doll crying? There once was a puppet soldier whose greatest wish was to be with the ballerina doll forever and ever. But the soldier didn't have a heart and didn't know where his feelings came from. One day, his owner didn't want him anymore and threw him away into a fire. But even in the flames, his eyes never left the ballerina. The next day, the people found a tiny heart in the ashes left by the fire. <laughs> Sorry for just going quiet, but that was actually really intriguing storytelling. So, he's trying to tell a Tori story and compare it about a doll that doesn't have a heart and sort of compare it to him, I guess. Probably ashes in the shape of a heart. Ooh. But that's not a real heart. Maybe, but what if hearts can be born from ashes? This kid's really philosophical for his age. How dare you die like this and break your promise to me? Did the kid die? What a joke. Dang, that's dark. He's just ashes. on fire? Oof. We didn't see it on screen, but that's a brutal death. Death by a joke. burning? Eee. It's just ashes. Nothing left but ashes. Oh wow. That transition. Nothing left but ashes. Eardrop into him falling. Ashes. Nothing left but ashes. So I'm getting like I'm wondering if this is before he became evil and after the kid died that sort of made him snap. I wonder if that's what happened. If only I could have burned to death in that fire too. E. No. In fact, I wish I'd never been born at all. That's dark. Ooh. Oh, and there's yeah, there's the wonder. Born at all. Is that really all you wish for? How does that work? So, <laughs> is he not the same person? So, wander. Are they two separate entities? Because wander just showed up and started talking to him, or is that somehow some sort of? Time travel ability, and he's coming back to talk to his past self. Those are my two theories. I don't know. That was a good trailer as well. Another really well written one. They're definitely getting more, these teasers are becoming more story related, like about the character, unless, um, some of them felt more random, I guess. Like Zong Lee's was just about him <laughs> buying stuff. But uh, yeah, these last two in particular have gotten more into the character's backstory. I really like it. This is sort of what I was expecting from a character teaser coming into this over the uh, some of the others I've seen. All right, next up, I'll hide them questions and something. The origins of writing are lost to time. 
and it is forbidden to investigate the genesis of language. But since their inception, I these think symbols... He might have one of the coolest eye colorings in the game. Emerald, red, I think it was black as well. Really nice coloring. Yeah, his design's great. Another man I like, guys. <laughs> I like the men, trust me. I've silently recorded everything. The skies, the stars, Ooh. the mountains. Wow, this is gorgeous. And the birds. Conflict. Peace. Is that... Uh, I think that was Nahida. And people from all walks of life. It's another little picture book. Words are much. strung together and edited. History made and archived for posterity. Whoa. This is this cool. This records not only the truth, but the questions it leaves unanswered. Many of them will remain unanswered forever. More pretty piano. The profoundest eternal questions are met only with a boundless and eternal wow, silence. Wow, yeah, I recognize that. That's like the tree with... I thought it was a city built on top of it. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it is. Or at least a really tiny city. There's not much. This is gorgeous. Wow. I think I'm going to love the scenery when I play the game. I did hear... But there is going to be an anime made by UFO, UFO Table, the uh, studio for Fate, for this. That got me so excited. Like, I love, I love Fate. It was actually the second anime I'd ever watched and became my favorite for a long time after that. And uh, I loved their animation style. So I'm hoping to see... Uh, an impressive looking anime for Genshin as well. As long as they get a good story, I know I'll like their animations. That was a cool one. Uh, didn't learn much about his character, just, you know, he's a scribe. He, I guess he archives uh, knowledge and stuff. Um, yeah, it was a really cool animation though. Like this scene was incredibly cool right here. Where he's like, it's like time forwarding through together and edited. time. History made and archived for posterity. Yeah, look at this. That was so cool. The scribe records not only the truth, but the... Yeah, alright. I just wanted to watch that part again. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Dawn over the sand. Dia? Oh, Can the wall Dia. really keep the sandstorms out? <sighs> she never meant for it to keep anything out. Don't you think Sumero City's a bit far, Dia? She'll get homesick. Besides, who knows how the people in the rainforest will treat her? She really is a big sister. She's taking care of the children. Please, Everyone looks up to her. Say? That's cute. No, entry's prohibited. But the sandstorm is raging, and we have a child with us. You are to hearing, no means no. She's gonna sneak her in somehow. Come on. This way, quick. Easy now. Watch your step. She's just an incredibly kind-hearted, caring person. Helping others out. Don't worry. If they do find you, I'll handle it. Relax. Just trust the Dendro Archon. Things are different now. <sighs> Whatever you say. But what are you planning with all that Mora? Isn't that like your whole life savings? <sighs> You'll see when we get there. All right, we'll take good care of the girl. Your generous donation will be used to provide for the desert orphans. I'll need a name for the fund. How about. I'm actually getting sort of emotional. That wall was never meant for keeping things out. It was for protection. I hope the kids can forget about all the sandstorms 
and have a chance at a real life. That was incredibly sweet. Like, obviously things weren't as good, but now the kids are being taken in. Uh, these are doing a great job. Like, they've just been getting better since the beginning. Even though I love Fischl, it's probably still my favorite, like, just based off of her. <laughs> but the stories, the storytelling in these have been getting incredible. Yeah, that actually had me pretty emotional. Next up, Baizu, an elusive curative. He, he gives me... At first I thought he was just a chill guy, but he started giving me some sus feels. We'll see when I meet him in-game if I, uh... Still feel that way. I hate snakes, but I like its snot bubble. <laughs> Prepare ten parts of violet grass and three of star conch shells. Mash them together with some fresh glaze lilies, filter with gauze, and consume the resulting herbal brew. Um... Oh? Does something about this prescription displease you? Oh, not at all. I have complete confidence in your prescriptions. They work every time. It, it, it's just that this prescription is for a pair of siblings based in Mondstadt. Mondstadt? Then these ingredients will not be easy to procure. Mm, most of them are fine. It's just the glaze lilies. They don't come cheap, especially not fresh ones. Pretty flower. Poor Anthony will have to work a lot of extra hours to afford this. Hmm. This new prescription, though not as fast acting, will allow gradual recovery and buildup of strength, making it well suited to someone who's been suffering from a long illness. The needed ingredients can also be found around Mondstadt. Wait. Dendro processed berries? But <laughs> strange afflictions require stranger remedies, no? I have another backup solution. You'll need to boil some frog skins and lizard tails before adding a few drops of Changsheng's venom. <laughs> uh, uh, this one will be fine. <laughs> yeah, that last one sounded really sketch. I'm sure it works, but... <laughs> A few drips of what from whom? <laughs> well, he seems like he cares about his profession as a doctor. Yeah, that one was more simple. I liked it, though. I just, I don't mind the calming, simple ones either. They've all been enjoyable in their own way. Next up. Oh, we're on to Fontaine. Linny. This is even more incredible to me. People yearn to trend. I learned that Linny, the voice actor, is the same as Blade. That is even more incredible than Jing Yuan and Sino. Like, they sound nothing alike. Nothing at all. Blade's got that deep, not crazy deep, but deep and uh, edgy voice going for him. Well, Linny's is just, it's more, it's more boyish. So, someone that has a range like that, that's impressive. Transcend the mundane world. That which is mysterious captivates us all. What was the name of this? Gloves of Wonder? Oh. So, did you have a good look? Yep. The hat's definitely empty. <laughs> Whoa! Amazing! How did you do that? <laughs> In the space of a short performance, a magician must shatter the barrier between reality and fantasy, giving the audience a glimpse of the- I just realized how nice his eyes are. Another character with violet looking eyes. Very pretty eyes. Extraordinary. Oi, this isn't what I ordered. I clearly asked for a cider. Hey, you asked for a glass of- Got a drunk sailor on her hand. Now all we need is to hear him start cussing out. Cursing like a sailor. Our finest wine. Maybe you've had enough. Oh, yeah, right. You think I don't know what I ordered? <laughs> Any drunk person at a bar. There. How about you take another look at your drink? 
<sighs> Some yeah, piss. Yeah, that's the stuff. Mmm, the sweet smell of apples. What the? I, I swear I was just holding it. Oh, wow. In the eyes of most people, magic tricks are like miracles. Ooh. Oh, cool. as Wow. But as magicians, we prefer to think. Oh my gosh. Another character that I didn't like that much, but this trailer has made him look a lot cooler. <laughs> wow. And great miracles are like magic tricks. Ooh. I don't know what that line's supposed to mean. <laughs> I don't understand that uh, analogy or metaphor or whatever he was going for, but it was cool. That was, that, that was actually a cool trailer. I would have been like these kids. When I was a kid, I was definitely like them when I was at Magic Shiz. I don't know if anyone has heard of Great Wolf Lodge, but I think I saw my first magic show there. And it was the coolest thing ever, in my opinion. Alright, next up we've got the Judge. Nouvellette, Watcher in the... Uh, I can't see it. <laughs> Many questions have long perplexed me. Ooh, nice I don't know why I was born in this form. Nor do I understand where my long life should take me. Pretty. Where my long life should take me. How long is your life? Take me. It's as if there's something Look I Look at forgot. his eyelashes and the eyeliner. That is... That's some... Fancy... Uh... <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Um, facial paint? <laughs> I forgot what it's called. I'm I'm going on a blank. Makeup. Makeup. I forgot. I forgot the word for makeup. There we go. Since the very beginning. I like it. So, why don't you try to find the answer for yourself? Hmm. Monsieur Novelette, the next Ooh. trial is about to begin. That's some good, f good French Monsieur accent. Novelet. Monsieur Novelette. The next trial is about to begin. Oh. Ah. Thank you for the reminder. Ooh, he looks good <laughs> while smiling. It's not like you to zone out, Monsieur Novelette. I don't think I'd seen him smile before. I recalled some things from my past. Events from a very long time ago. He's old. Yeah, he uses a cane. He's definitely old. Ooh, wow. Oh my gosh. That was to me, so pretty. Humanity is like a pool of water in which I see my reflection. Only through observing them can I slowly oh, like come to understand myself. Demo music, yeah. The court is now in session. Ooh. I don't know what was going on in that trailer at all, but it was cool. I'm going to be repeating. It was cool. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is nice quite a bit. Because <laughs> sometimes I don't have any other comments other than that. All right. Next up. It's not working. Right, let's try that again. Ricely, Indisp... Invincibles, I don't know what else it says. I was told that I actually pronounced his name right. Riothsley, I think. Your Grace, Fontaine's Child Welfare Services has already made all the necessary arrangements. You needn't escort the criminal. Your Grace? Is he a, is he a royalty? They're calling him in Your Grace. He doesn't look very royalty. Just want to ensure this task isn't left to someone who lacks propriety. He's cool. Ooh, he's got a scar on his neck. I don't think I noticed that. Uh, hello? Who is it? <laughs> it's, 
It's Risley, your father's colleague. I'm here with his friend. Oh, come on in. And on his arms. Dad's still packing up his stuff, so you'll have to give him a minute. <laughs> That's all right. He has a long journey ahead, after all. Is he about to arrest all her right. father? Be a good girl and stay out of trouble while I'm away, okay? I will. Your friend here's super nice. Not like the other guy. He looks scary. Hey, that's not very polite. <laughs> it's quite all right. Bye bye. Come back soon, Daddy. I'll miss you. I will. I am, for some reason, feeling very um tight around the chest area. I forgot to breathe. I feel like something's not right. I'm pretty sure he's arresting her dad, and the girl has no idea. That's sad. Don't worry. <sighs> Thank you for extending your sympathy, Your Grace. I thought I wouldn't be able to see her again. I only sympathize with her. Yep. Love should be warm. But to you, it's become a form of punishment. What did he do? Let's go. Did Next time you see your daughter, I hope you'll have become a better father. What happened? Did they say at the beginning and I just missed it? Uh, child welfare. I'm sorry, I, I feel like I missed something. Why is he arresting him in the first place? Your Grace, Fontaine's Child Welfare Services has already made all the necessary arrangements. You needn't escort the criminal personally. I just want to ensure this task isn't left to someone who lacks. No, they didn't say. I guess he did something bad. Man. Next time you see your daughter, I hope you'll have become a better father. I wonder what he did, really. I feel bad for the girl, that's for sure. Huh. I'm sure he had his reason for arresting him. Arresting him. Arresting him. All right. Next up, we've got <gasps> Yesu, Farina, favorite character in game, member of the cast. All right. Some old Opera film. Walks the line between truth and fiction. Another story flip book. Though the story is fictional, as far as the characters are concerned, their fate is real. I love her. Therein lies the rub. Are you and I the audience or characters on the stage? What does it mean, therein lies the rub? Is that some stage term that I don't know about? This is cool. Nobody can know for sure. After all, nothing is easier to fool than the senses. She seems different in this trailer, more ominous. We know only one thing for certain, that the prophecy is true. Because in this show, the prophecy is a part of all characters' fates. Hmm? Don't believe me? So, you still haven't noticed that I'm not even speaking to you. This is just a recording playing in your head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her mouth hasn't been moving, has it? Characters' fates. Hmm? Don't believe me? So, you still haven't noticed yeah. that I'm not even speaking to you. This is just a recording playing in your head. Her eyelashes are honestly sort of creepy almost. Like, they, oh, they sort of look like, it's sort of, it's almost like a crown. Like those are the things on top of the crown and the, I the brow is the base or the no, eyelash is the base I guess or it's just makeup <laughs> or that's just makeup that she put on there I don't know 
Yeah, this definitely seems more ominous for a Farina trailer. Now, do you see? The prophecy has come true. And everything That's such a cute smile. But what she's saying doesn't seem like something to smile about. I'm sorry, it's a Farina trailer. I have to pause a lot. <laughs> to the Great Flood. Ooh, she's getting up close and personal. And you are the only one I have left. Is that a metallic doggo? Whoa. Everything's underwater. I have no idea what's going on, but this must be... I have a feeling this is heavily story related. <laughs> it looks cool. I just, yeah, I don't know anything about what's going on. This fate music. may seem like it's playing cruel jokes on you. Only fate will not deceive you. Unless you can first deceive. Why is she crying? That one was oh my god, I did it again. <laughs> Go back. That one was the most confusing one I've seen yet, mainly because it was showing a lot that I have a, I have a feeling has to do with the story. I just don't know what it was about at all. It was incredibly cool, so... Yeah, she was obviously talking about how everyone's a performer on the stage, or that's like a possibility. Um... And a prophecy about them, everyone being drowned underwater. And then we see everything underwater. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can tell I'm lost a little bit. I don't know what happened. And then she talks about fate and fooling fate as she's crying. So I'm guessing there's, there's some really dark fate that she is trying to... Um, Prevent, possibly. You don't have to tell me. I'm just trying to make sense of this trailer as much as possible. That was cool. Definitely the most confusing one I've seen. With how little context I have. And we only have three more. We're almost done. Let's go. Uh, Navia's. This invitation has yet to be sent. He doesn't have a fixed residence, so addressing the letter has proved problematic. She's so pretty. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll deliver it. If you find the target, report to me. Yes, demoiselle. Demoiselle. This is cute. Huh? Our subordinates seem a little incompetent, though. <laughs> What'd you see? Oh. <laughs> Something she likes. Oh. Oh, she likes the traveler, huh? She got all excited. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I think uh, Traveler's getting a full upskirt there. <laughs> what would a banquet celebrating Poisson's reconstruction be without you? Oh, that's a cute postcard. Come on, partner. Let's go. We're her partner? We're her partner now? Oh, that's... Yes, I want to be her partner. I want to join her little, her little gang or whatever it is. A Spina something. That was cute. Not much to go off of, but I like how uh, she seems really friendly with the MC. And next up. Yes, another mommy. Xian Yun. Discernment and something. Huh? A 
story about Master? Let me think. It's Ganyu. Hmm. Master's a great inventor. Her voice when sounds I different child, for some reason. She made all kinds of toys for me. <laughs> Look at her! She's a little baby in her little... What are those called? I don't know what those little hoodies are called. That's so cute. So, Xian Yun was her master? That's adorable. Aww. <laughs> they were often too advanced for me. She's so cute as a little but baby. They always showed me how much she cared. Hmm. Oh. You want That's to hear a story about Master? She, yeah, she's Shen, Shen master, He's master as well. She likes peace and quiet, but she doesn't mind getting visitors on Mount Outsong. <laughs> In truth, she does get lonely if no one ever goes to see her. <laughs> That's sort of cute. Cloud retainer, you say? <laughs> yes, I know a tale or two. There was a time when she preferred to appear in human form and was revered as a bold and decisive figure. Really? Aww, we've never seen her in that form before. Well, she looks great in it. I'm fine with a shapeshifter, mm -hmm. Mommy. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the angle. They know what they're doing. Oh, another cute mm -hmm. sneezer. <sighs> Making sure no one saw. What is oh, up with- speaks. Hold up. So, I was told that- That, um... That one lady's hands were actually black. She wasn't wearing gloves. But these- these look like gloves. So how are her nails doing that? Someone's gotta tell me in the comments. Unless they're also oh, her hands. About one behind one's back. Not to She's just like Gila. They both said the exact same thing. <laughs> Worry. I'm sure you will have the chance to very soon. I like her. She seems like a a caring master who's too shy to really show that she cares. I like that. Oh, sorry for bumping my mic. All right, Chiori, the last one. Yeah, she's a seamstress. She's gorgeous too. Crimson woven. Uh, hello. Is someone gonna tailor my suit? What were you thinking? Why would you keep a Tenryo Commission official waiting? But he was last in line. Foolish girl, you are no apprentice of mine. Dang. Sure, is also another cute little baby there. Did you hear me? Hey, it's first come, first served. This wedding dress needs to be ready for fitting by nightfall. Elof, raise the waist a little higher to accentuate her figure. And the I like her. Shortening. She oh, don't. She don't give a care if you're some high class figure. If you, if it's first come first serve. If you're last in line, you're waiting in line. That's Material. a good. Got that's it. a good attitude. Good customer service. I knew it. That dress is for Leticia, isn't it? Always dreamed of wearing a Chioria wedding dress. Aww. So some poor girl's dumb dream is more important than my business dinner? Huh? <gasps> <sighs> oh my, so sorry. I was looking for my fabric shears. Those were the wrong ones. This... this was an expensive suit! <laughs> yep. Oops. Oh, not those ones either. What, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what do you mean? I thought she wanted your suit tailored. <laughs> she's, she's a feisty one. Uh, Chiori, who'd you throw out this time? 
<laughs> what are you saying? She I threw him out the window. This one jumped out all by himself. <laughs> it's you better sure. pay me for the window. This can't happen again. <sighs> You're right. Next time I'll lock the windows too. <laughs> yeah, I like her attitude. It's the right mindset. All right, that finished them up. Wow, that felt <laughs> that felt longer than it was. That was a great video. A lot of a lot of great teasers. They definitely got more intriguing as they went on. They started off more simple, not really showing me much about the character's story or background until some of the later ones, but I enjoyed every single one of these. I didn't think any one of them was bad. And after that abrupt ending seven hours later, like, comment, and subscribe for more future content.